Hello everybody, welcome back to Road Maintenance Simulator once again. You guys are really enjoying this game. I have been too. We'll start with something very easy here. Align signs. Don't ask me how it happened, but a number of traffic signs along the entire road network are crooked. Drive along the roads and straighten out any crooked signs you see. When you're done, come back to the service yard. Who knows what else needs to be done? So we need to take a vehicle, any vehicle it seems, find the crooked signs and realign them. Pretty straightforward, I must say. Happy Wednesday to all of you guys. I hope you're having a great week so far. Um, I am. I sure am having a good week so far. I'm going to open this one up. Which truck should we take? We don't need anything crazy, but you know what? They allow us to drive the big truck, so when in doubt, we're going to drive the big truck. I'm, I'm down for that. All right, let's get up here to the front gate here and open it up. We know how this goes for us. Um, and look at all that. They weren't lying. You see on that mini map, there's so many signs that need to be uh fixed here so i think this might take a lot longer than i thought it would maybe are we gonna open that up or just not happening today just not happening today okay i had to be in the right place at the right time start that engine up uh we have one just here on our left so we will go take care of that one first i don't think we've ever gone left out of this yard have we i don't believe so okay let's see crooked signs I don't, I didn't even know that they would fix those. Oh my God, these inverted controls. Every time they get you, I play so much GTA and uh, inverted cameras are weird. Is this the crooked sign? I think this is. Let's put our little hazard lights on. I love how we're taking a big dump truck out here for this job today. Try not to get hit by a car playing Frogger here. Uh, yeah, that I'd, I'd call that one crooked, wouldn't you? Uh, so how do we do with that? Does that have a, oh, that's it? Uh, okay, well. Maybe this isn't going to be that much fun after all. Uh, and we have one, two, three, four, five. Six. We have so many to do. I'm going to, you know what? We're in walk. Ah, yeah, we're going to go back. We're going to get the little car. We're going to get the little truck. Beep, beep, beep. We have no backup beeper on this thing. Pretty crazy, I know. Um, okay, we'll put you on there. And we'll uh, go ahead and turn off the uh, beacon lights here. We'll kill the engine. We'll get out. We're going to go take the small thing. I, I think that's going to be better for this. And we have nine more signs we need to do you know let's go explore the back roads i have never made that left turn out of here to see what's even down here on this map and i know they want me to turn around and go back to that sign but there's got to be a sign here and i know the whole map loops around i just haven't seen any of this over here yet so we're doing a little bit of exploring oh there's a, a whole motorway section here that's kind of cool didn't know that was a thing is this the end of the map right here I'm thinking it is. They're going to curl us around and get on the highway. Oh, look, this is a plant over here. A nuclear power plant. And now we are merging onto the motorway here. And there's a sign there on the left. I don't know if they're going to let us do this out of order. That's the weird thing about this mission. It seems like they want you to really do it in the way that they want it done. And, uh, and there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And can you blame me for wanting to explore at least a little bit? I think we're exiting here. Yes, we are. And they're going to loop us around and take us to that other sign. They're like, nope, you are not going to do what you want to do today. You're doing what we want you to do in the order we want you to do it. You know, I haven't played grass cutting simulator in a while or lawn mowing simulator in a while. And I really wish it had an open world like, you know, uh, where you could have a map even like something as simple as this would be really cool. Okay, so there's a sign that's crooked Let's see if we can get out and fix it and if it counts because the line is saying to go to the different one But I want to see if it if it matters. All right crooked sign. You can't be doing this around here. All right And it did count. Okay, so we can do what we want to do. You do not have to follow that Good to know if we make the left up here and it takes us back to our little spot, doesn't it? Yep And there's a sign that's crooked right here on the corner Oh, there's a bunch of signs crooked here. This is kind of weird. Like, why is all of a sudden the storm blow through and just destroy everything? That's kind of what it's feeling like, isn't it? Just a little bit. Yeah, hit A on that, buddy. There you go. Priority sign is fixed. Yay. HDS got a package, people. Out of the way. We're not messing around. We're trying to get all this done as soon as possible. And we're going to follow the little GPS and uh this 50 is kind of screwed up isn't it yep just a little bit same thing I, I don't know this is kind of uh kind of monotonous i gotta say this isn't my favorite mission at all austin powers don't worry about me just you know making a eight point turn here to turn around and follow the gps back this way even though i know we don't have to do that i'm looking where any grouping is of these signs actually 
you know what's kind of fun is we haven't made a left i haven't even been down there yet we're gonna get get to explore another area you know the new uh maverick movie is coming out i'm really excited to see that uh the new top gun movie and i plan to go see it possibly this weekend so uh let's slow down here we have another priority sign out of order this is kind of a nice area down here it's like more country than i was expecting this little spot to be come on you gotta hit this just right it's like it's oh you just look at the sign don't even bother with the, the pole itself. It's not worth it. And they want me to turn around again and head back the other way. I thought we would be grouping up some signs here, but I don't know. Maybe the GPS is a little drunk. Now, I know some people in the comments were asking, why would you ever play this game? And honestly, it's like any of the other simulators. You're just kind of living this virtual life, doing these little mundane tasks and things like that. It's, it's actually not so bad. It isn't. Um, it's a good time wasting game. Like I've said before, uh, those are the type of games that I do enjoy. I mean, maybe that's why I like, you know, flight sims so much. And I plan to do the Phoenix A320 video soon. Uh, a new scenery was released by vertical sim for Omaha, Nebraska. And originally I was going to do Phoenix down to Tucson, but I think we're going to go check out that Omaha, Nebraska scenery. That sounds like a lot of fun. And I know that Allegiant flies out of there. So we'll probably be flying on Allegiant. So get uh, get ready for that. Now, the new sim update that happened in Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, seemed to have broken a lot of different things. And uh, one of those things, it keeps corrupting my exe.xml file that is in the root uh, folder there. And uh, it's important because if you run like PackX or something like that for the you know cabin announcements and all that stuff, uh, you need to have FSU IPC7 running the, the free version of it and uh it keeps corrupting my file and i have to go in there manually and rebuild it it's it's quite annoying oh look at that sign yep i guess a, a hurricane had blown through here nah, not even that a gust nato i wouldn't even give them that they had straight line winds of like 50 miles an hour and these signs just couldn't take it are they really gonna have me go all the way around oh here it is up here on the right don't mind me people don't mind me at all i'm gonna do a stop here but we don't use hazards in the UK. Well, we do here in America. And it's just an old habit. Old habits never die. 300 meters. What? I jump over this? Yeah, I can. All right, there you go. This is the this is the dumbest mission I've ever seen in my, like this is dumb. Like, I'm not even joking. This should not be in the game. This is pretty dumb. And it's really spread out. Yep, just as I guessed, they're gonna make us go all the way around. You know where that sign was that we couldn't get to on the other side of the highway? That's where they're taking us right now. So yeah, GPS be a little drunk. I think they're using the Apple Maps update. And here is that sign right here. It's another one that's probably a 300, isn't it? It is 100 meter this time. Okay, well, we're changing it up just a little bit. Don't worry, this isn't all we're doing today. I promise you that. I, yeah, I got to remember what the jump button is for this. There we go. I'm just playing on the controller because why not at this point? All right, so that's where we got on the highway earlier. So we're going past. Nope, nope, just kidding. Oh, ho, ho. had to do a Florida man on that turn. Jeez. The GPS was just like, nope, you're getting off. The I was like, we haven't been down that way yet. So that's exciting. And just kidding. Seriously, they're going to have us go down the same road again instead of getting on the highway. They're going to have to go all the way down to the end. I bet you, bet you, bet you. And I think that other sign is on the whole other end of the map. That's why we need uh, the ability to have a bigger map. That would be cool. Like, like you can open up a big map. I looked at the controls. You cannot do that. You have the mini map and you have those little uh, exclamation marks kind of just floating around in the general direction of where they may be. Get some speed up. Let's try to get a jump. Can we jump this? It looks like it has enough. Oh, we did. We got some air in it, baby. Woohoo! Now, these are the things you have to resort to whenever, you know, you're, you're fixing crooked signs. You know, how exciting that actually is. All right, so we're on the other side of the motorway now. Oh, let's race them on the highway. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, my me. I have a beacon on top of my truck. I, I can do this. Are you kidding me? It's a, You know what? I don't care. I don't care. We're, we're going to... Wow, we're just gonna park here. I'm hopping the. I'm hopping the thing. We're running across. I don't care. I don't care. No, I say no to this. Now we're playing Frogger. Are you kidding me? 
What? They have a collision here? You can't get across it? Are you joking? You've got to be joking me. Oh, the collisions won't let you. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. That's a pretty dumb decision, game design-wise. Hey, you want to make it really harder? Hey, let's make it really harder for the peoples. Make them, uh, you know, not be able to jump across so well. Um, I don't even know where the next exit is. I can't even turn around. Okay, look at this GPS. Wow. They're like, here, no problem. Just pull this turn off. No big whoop. Yeah, perfect. Great idea. I have a perfect name for this chapter in this video. Crooked signs are boring. They are. I really think this is the probably the dumbest game design decision they've made so far in this one. Um, I know we didn't have to take it. I thought it would be just, you know, hey, a couple or whatever to advance the game. No, not at all. And I don't even know if once these are done, if it's checked off. I think it just keeps repopulating over and over, which is kind of weird because I really want like a reason to care about the maintenance I'm doing on these roads. And I'm starting to just not have that care. Okay, let's pop you back into position. There you go. One more left. And oh, and wouldn't you know, it was probably all the way back behind us. Uh, it's gonna be in front of us. I'm racing you. Oh, we got the top end speed. Look at that. Yeah, you wish you had a beacon light on top of your car and you could do what I'm doing. They're gonna do it again, aren't they? They're gonna make me come all the way down at this road. This sign's gonna be on the left side of the road. Oh, if it is, I'll tell you what. Ah, what are you doing? Oh, he wants to race. Okay, let's race, dude. Oh, dude, he's destroying me. Whoa. We must be on the Autobahn right now. I can't even catch him if I wanted to. We had really good pull. Yeah, it's on the other side of the road. Oh, he slammed the brakes. What are you doing? She, he went, brake check. You want tit for tat. Here you go. Let's just road rage with this dude. Let's just road, yep. Yeah, it's not so fun, is it, now, when you slam brakes in front of people? Yep, still going down the highway. Still waiting for my exit so I can turn around. This is a bit of a nightmare. Let's see what brilliant idea they have for the exit strategy here. Yeah, they want you to do another U-turn at the end of this road. Why? Why did they do that? I don't even think I can. Well, yeah, we can make that. No problem. There we go. Just ridiculous, man. <laughs> The only thing I can say today is why. That's the that's the gist of this. Why is this in Road Maintenance Simulator? I mean, I get you're doing road maintenance, but it is the biggest, like, grindy thing I've ever done in this game. And uh, it's just not that great, to be honest with you. It's just not that great. The moment we've been waiting for, boom. We did it. Now we just get to go back to the shop and park the truck. That's basically it. Well, the mystery is now, it's now been lifted. Now we know what to expect from the map. Uh, I've already got the map down now. I know we have to exit up here and then that's the road we need to be on right there to make the left and, uh, and head back to the shop and cross that little spot where we had uh, done all that road maintenance the other day and then cross the intersection, the main intersection of the map and then we're back there. So the map is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Oh, I'm getting some speed down this hill now. 140K, woohoo! Look out. I wonder how we can apex this corner. Oh, we're gonna do it. Hopefully there's nobody coming around a corner. Oh, we did it. I actually made that corner. Oh, let's just leave it to chance. Can we make it to the intersection without dying? Yes, we can. Well, look at that. Look at that. We made it back in record time. This thing actually gets up and scoots. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. I, I won't lie. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. All right, we're done with this task. Thank you. Thank you for everything. The love of everything. Please remove that. We just need to remove that from the game. Are they going to make me park that thing back in its rightful spot? I think they are. Park vehicle in its assigned spot. Yep, that's what it is. I have to move this. <laughs> Boy, the hits keep on coming today, don't they? They really do. All right, we'll move this back where we got it from. You know, the, the boss, the boss don't like that one so much if you go out, uh, you know, outside of the, the green areas for your trucks. They really don't like it. All right, there, you happy now? And you have to go back in the inside view and, and then get out. 
then you, uh, yeah, mission accomplished successfully. All right, align delineators. We have, uh, I don't even, okay, it's down here, wherever that is located. I really don't get how people can keep running into these things. In any case, crooked delineator posts were removed on the highway. It's time to get to work. Drive along the entire stretch of the road and realign any crooked delineator posts. When you're done, return to the service yard and don't let me catch you dawdling. We're realigning crooked delineators. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Take a vehicle. Um, yep, same thing as last time. You know what? We're taking this because this thing was sporty. That's why we're taking this again. Dude, it's it's literally going to be the same thing we just did. It's going to be the same thing we just did. Why? Why is this in the game? I have to see what the delineator is. I have to see what is it these things right here? Is that a delineator? All right, let's get on the highway here. Full speed, never lift. Oh, it's cornering pretty good there. I'm getting better with these, uh, the physics. Okay, that car is getting on the highway. I'm going to get all the way to the left here. Oh, there's a delineator right here. That's it. They made it seem so, like, such a panic. Oh my god, we need these delineators. But look at this. Look at this, folks. That that's what you have to do. And there are a, there's 12 of them total. Same thing, different down there. The storm blew through and that is that. This is unbelievable. I guess it's not so bad because they're all next to each other, you know? Yeah. For the most part, there comes a time in everybody's life where you go, "Why are we doing this?" And I earned, this is going to be just like everything we just did. So we're not going to complete it. We're not going to complete this one. You saw the meat and potatoes. I haven't seen anything else pop up, you know, like something cool. Maybe we have maxed out everything we can do in this game currently. I don't know. It's, it's kind of uh, hard to say, but let me know what you thought. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.